Spellhorn, and I'm the author of 2013, Year of the Water Snake. And today we're talking to people who are born the Year of the Pig or Boar about what's coming up for 2013. I'm giving a few more tips and feng shui cures. This year, Chinese New Year falls on February 10th. So I've put in the upper right hand corner the dates for people born the year of the pig or boar. And as you can see, those dates don't run from January 1st to January 1st. So check the dates and make sure you are born in this year. Now, a lot of people tell me, oh, they are so upset that they are born the year of the pig. They don't want to be a pig. But I tell them, this is a sacred creature. This is a very, very good thing that the, the Chinese ha word for family is actually the symbol for a pig with a little roof over it. The idea is that if you have a pig at home, you have a home. Pigs make things more comfortable. They, they make people feel good. They are very kind. They are very fun to be with. So be proud that you're a pig or at least say you're proud to be a boar. Now, I took the sign for pig and snake, and I put them in a Western zodiac wheel so I could see how they interact since I'm a Western astrologer. Now, what I see here is that they are exactly opposite each other, and this is actually a combative position. Uh, so we see the snake really fighting pig for the energy. This means that the the pig is going to have a more challenging year that things that you have done in the past aren't going to be working this year and you have to change uh, it means that you're probably moving you might be changing relationships you might be adding a child to the family you might have some kids leaving home you there might be a job change anything where you've been doing it a while now could be at risk for change so I want you not to get nervous. I don't want you to hold on or grip. I want you to be open to this process. I want you to actually say, yes, I want to change some things in my life. So I am ready for a change. So but because you are so open and giving and upfront and snake years are about, you know, being sneaky and spying on people and, and hiding secrets, I want you to have a little bit of protection this year. Uh, you may have seen one of these traditional protection mirrors before. Uh, this, it has all these different symbols that uh, say, you know, I, I want to bring in harmony, I want to bring in prosperity, but I don't want anything negative to come into my life. So what you would do is you would place this mirror in a window near your front door, or if you don't have a window near your front door, if you're in an apartment complex, then in a bedroom window, you want it facing outward, okay? Because then what happens is it, if evil comes, they say it will see its face in the mirror and become frightened and run away. But if somebody good comes, they'll see their face in the mirror and be welcomed. Now, of course, they're not literally seeing their face in the mirror because this mirror, the actual mirror part's like one each wide. But the placing the protection mirror can help you uh, bring in some positive energy. And then, you know, let's use your namesake. A gold piggy bank can attract more money, even if you're only putting pennies in it. So get yourself a little gold piggy bank and start to uh, accumulate some wealth. By every time you put a penny in there, think of that as being raised. Think of that as a new client. Think about that as some more territory for your business. Bring in the money that way. And be careful about lending out money this year. You probably won't be getting it back. And that's it. Those are my couple of extra tips for 2013 or for uh, those born year of the pig. I want you to uh, consider getting my book where there's even more tips in there. Uh, it's 2013 Year of the Water Snake. It's available on Amazon as a Kindle and on my website as a PDF. Have a great year.